Welcome back, Pokemon Trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and it's time for episode number 29 of our Pokemon Pearl playthrough here on the channel. Where are we? I don't even know what route number we're on, but we're on our way to... Where are we heading? You know, it's been forever. I'm going to open up the town map. Hang on a sec. we got to get back on track on where we're at. We're heading to the next gym, basically. And the city we're headed to is right over here. It is Veilstone City. We're on Route 215. There we go. All right. It's not bad. Uh, good way to acquaint yourself or... What's the word? Orient yourself. Orientate? I don't know. Get used to where you're at. Okay. So, we made it to this spot right here. This nice big old pass patchy grass... I can't even speak. We're here. You know what? Let's not waste any time. Let's do a team recap. Show you who we're working with right now. Ah, Shelly's actually leveled up. Let's... No, wait a minute. I'm leaving Shelly up there. If the other Pokemon hit level 31, they will disobey, as we can see with our good old Sneasel down there. But first of all, starting off the team recap is our only obedient Pokemon, based on whatever level she's at. Shelly, our Blissey, not too long ago, was just a Happiny. She is a docile Pokemon. She's impetuous and silly. Uh, Serene Grace ability boosting the likelihood of special effects of attacks. You have Strength, Charm, Copycat, and Sweet Kiss. We don't have any attacks that have like a special effect. I should see if I can TM some of those onto our little our big Blissey here. Next is Egbert from the Johto region. He is at level 30, our Togetic. He is a naughty little Pokemon. The ability is Hustle, which I don't really like because it boosts your attack set, but it lowers your accuracy. If and when, I should, I should say if, when ability capsules become a thing in these playthroughs, I'm switching that over to what he currently has in Pokemon Ultra Sun, which is Serene Grace as well. <coughs> Excuse me. And the moves are Water Pulse, Metronome, Psychic, and Solar Beam. If I could get Serene Grace now, Water Pulse and Psychic would be a little bit better. Better chance of confusion and lowering the special defense. Next up is Gary, our level 30 Gyarados. A uh, naive Pokemon has stopped and think, what's the nature? Uh, ability is Intimidate, lowering the opponent's attack with Waterfall, Earthquake, Double Edge, and Rain Dance. Next up is Sol, our disobedient, level 33 Sneasel. He has a naive Pokemon as well. Ability is Keen Eye, preventing the loss of accuracy with Faint Attack, Icy Wind, Cut, and Rock Smash. And still, for moral support, we got Shalwart and Pikachu! Until we can get a fifth member of our active team, at which point we'll let them kind of sit out the rest of the adventure. They're just here, hanging out. You know, we're on an adventure together. We're going to hang out and see the sights. Now, last episode, we left this guy here. Every drop of sweat I shed makes me that much stronger. Let's go. Actually, I know what attack I would like to give Shelly if I can get it. This guy's making me think of it right now. If I could find Psychic TM, we get against her fighting type weakness. However, we're not going to get the Psychic TM until... Actually, I think Veilstone has TMs. I believe that's where you find the shopping... Uh, what is it? What is it? Shopping mall, I guess? Strength attack. Now, these things I believe can have dry skin, which does heal in the rain. So this might... Uh, be a problem, especially if you have a fighting type attack. If you do, hopefully it's a special base, because that's not going to be a problem. We have special defense like crazy. Wait! I didn't check the stats. I want to see what we have for stats. Hang on a sec. Mid-battle. I know we're wasting time. Yeah, let's check the summary. Special defense is 94. Very nice. We have a powerful 60 special attack on Egbert. 69 special defense, too. We've got... Wow. 91 attack on our Gyarados. And look at the speed of Sol. 103. Not bad. Alright, all that being said, let us now go for another strength attack. Should I take this thing down? So as you are watching this episode, this is the very day that, well, I've got a lot of stuff going on, so I am pre-recording this the night before. Pursuit! We're not moving anywhere. We're staying right where we're at. Minimal damage. So, I did some recording today for Pokemon Go. I did have three missions, three field research tasks, to spin three new Pokestops. I did that. I went to a new location that I haven't really... Or I haven't actually been to. I shouldn't say haven't really been to. I've been there before Pokemon Go, just not during Pokemon Go. So I spun three new stops. I uh, did a little bit of footage there. And the day that you're watching this, though, is the day I record a lot of footage. Because I'm going to be getting the seven-day streak of my Pokemon capture. Seven-day streak. That's kind of scary of our... Pokestop spinning. I'm gonna get the research breakthrough box. I'll get another big collection of stuff there, and that might be it. But, uh, hmm. I'm afraid of this thing karate chopping us. 
I confuse it. Oh, I'm taunted. I can't do that. Well, let's go into. I guess Egbert. I kind of want to minimize how much I'm using the potential disobedient Pokemon. I don't want them to level up too much. Egbert is fresh at. He just hit level 30. Last time we saw Egbert, I didn't talk about this, but last time we saw him in an like you know active playthrough was back in Silver. He unfortunately got knocked out by a red Gyarados. If you missed that episode, spoilers, I apologize, but go back and check it out. Let's Psychic Blast this thing. A nice special attack set, as we just saw. And, uh, yeah, so the Shiny Gyarados did drop Egbert, but we did have to keep him on the team until he evolved. He was only a Togepi at the time. To complete our Johto recreation of our adventures, he did have to evolve into Togetic, which he did, after which I put him in the PC. Didn't use him again until now. Except did I use... I must have used him in... Stadium 2, I would think. I think I used everybody in Stadium 2 at some point. Hey, it's a Meditite. Also, it's raining here. That's Water Pulse. Boosted by the rain. 50%, I believe. And, uh... What was I saying about Pokemon Go? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on, but it's also a pretty busy day for me just in general. I'm going to be doing, well, for the first time ever, really, just kind of trying an attempt at vlogging my general basic daily routine. I couldn't think of the word daily. I hesitated. You probably heard daily. But I'll be going and uh, there's a few things I need to take care of. I've got stop detecting. I've got a dentist appointment. i got to get the old pearly whites all pearly and whited up. I've got to... What else am I going to do? i got to do a little bit of shopping. I'm going to see if I can, in the interest of getting back into a healthy lifestyle, you know, exercise and all that craziness, I'm going to pick up a water bottle. Usually... I will fully admit this is not a good thing, but I would buy a bottle of pop. A one liter bottle of pop in the interest of having a one liter bottle that I could fill up with water and drink the water instead. I don't want to believe this happened, but a loss is a loss. Now, the downside is, of course, I would drink the pop first. But what I decided was, now I did pick up a bottle and I was going to use that for a water bottle until I realized, you know what? I kind of want to get an actual water bottle with like the little, you know, like a little spout you just drink as you're walking. And I realized that one liter bottle of pop that I bought, I just got to drink it and take, you know, accept my losses. But tomorrow I'm going to be doing a little bit of shopping to find a cool looking water bottle because I want to look all nice and fancy cool with my new Sonic the Hedgehog shoes, my Piranha Plant backpack way over on the bed, you can't see it. And as soon as the uh, better weather hits and kind of sticks with us for spring and summertime, I'm going to be so cool with all this geeky stuff. Yeah, I'm going to be the talk of the town. Maybe not in a good way. Time to shed some more sweat. That's what I want to do eventually. All right, we got another battler. Oh, we got an item. Oh, we got new berries. I see a wiki berry and a... Is this a nana berry? Or do I have nana berries? I think I have nana berries. Shockwave. Actually, Shockwave might not be bad for our Blissey. What else could she possibly learn? Uh, I'm pretty sure she gets Shockwave. Let me just double check it first, though. She can, so I can give her that. We don't have Psychic yet, do we? I want to get Psychic. Oh, you know who could learn Roost? If I really want to use it. Egbert could learn Roost for healing. I'm going to hold off on that, though. I want to wait and see. Actually, wait, Grass Knot. I want to wait and see which Pokemon are going to stick with us, obedient-wise, after the next badge that we get. I forgot, this is when Pikachu can learn Grass Knot. It's kind of nice if he's taking on like a Golem or an Onyx or something. I'm going to keep that on the back burner. We're going to keep Grass Knot in our back pocket. I mean, Grass, why not? I mean, why Grass Knot, right? Did I fight you? Jogging is good for you, but you have to make sure you're not overdoing it. Did I fight him? I don't remember fighting him. Huh. Anyways, I got a full heal. Nice. Healing any status condition, very nice, very cool. And a wild encounter. So how often do you folks go to the dentist? Random question for you folks out there. I uh, can't always afford to do it all that much. You know, it's somewhat bad to admit. It does, of course, cost money. And I don't always have that much to work with. But I did go, let's say two years back, I went on you know regular appointments, stuff like that. Couldn't afford to pretty much all of last year, which is not good course but I'm back at it and it's gonna be I think the last appointment I had was like about a month ago so maybe like a monthly or bi-monthly basis I'll battle anyone that's how I'll get better experience that's right I'm taking the Veilstone gym challenge but first 
first. Battle. So we're gonna be doing the Veilstone jab, jab, jab Challenge as well. Dennis and Maya. Hopefully by the time. Oh, I see a fighting type Monferno, but that's their first time seeing a Monferno. You guys are gonna fake me out, ain't you? I've got a weather boosted water pulse with that thing's name right on it. So if Veilstone, yeah, Veilstone Department Store. I just remember that's what it is, not shopping mall. My brain has kicked into high gear, despite the fact that it is 12:33 in the morning. I gotta get to sleep. I got the dentist appointment tomorrow. I got some Pokemon going to go do, and also I'm going to see a movie tomorrow night too. I'm not gonna, or sorry, tonight, based on when you're watching this. No, I don't like sleeping. I want to water pulse them on Inferno. Now, I'm not going to talk about the movie just yet. I mean, I guess I could. But it would spoil something I'm going to mention in Pokemon Go. But who cares, really? It's Rampage. My dad wants to go see Rampage. He likes the big sci-fi. Well, it's not really sci-fi, but special effects. He loves movies with all kind of cool special effects and stuff. That's why I'm hoping to convince him to also go see Infinity War. Which comes out, I believe, the 27th of the month. Which is only four days after my birthday. What is this? I should have taught Shockwave Gyarados. Am I really intimidated? A little bit. But we have special based attacks, so we're not too problematic. Problematic? We're not too scared of it. Uh, let us... Let's try Copycat, actually, see what happens. And I'm... I'm gonna try Metronome. Let's just have some fun. As long as we've had Metronome on our team, even back in Pokemon Silver, I've never used it. I'm afraid of, of course, a self-destruct, an explosion, something like that. But what are the actual chances we're going to get that on our first attempt at Metronome? Pretty slim to nil. That's nil right there. There's no space, not a chance. Well, actually, it's a slight chance. But we got us a double team. Now, come on. Can we get, what is it? Thunder. Actually, can we really get Thunder? The rain is up. Thunder will land accurately. Wouldn't it be weird if Metronome, you know how in a double battle it randomly selects a target. What if it randomly selected your own partner by mistake? That would be brutal. That's what I was afraid of with Saul. If he became too disobedient, would he actually have a chance at hitting our partner Pokemon? Don't thrash my low defense, Shelly. I mean, okay, I didn't do a lot, but... Alright, stop growling me, please. I've been intimidated, I've been growled. I don't like where my attack set is headed. Let's see what we can get. Ooh, that would've been bad if it wasn't uh, physical. But as such, it's not that good to begin with. Okay, so I could technically yard. Oh wait, oh yeah, boy, I forgot that you get confused from your own thrash attacks. So we're gonna try strength again. Let's try another metronome. Give me. What do I want now? Give me, is there a special based rock move? Ancient power, give me ancient power. Did you quit with the thrashing? I'm asleep, what am I gonna do to you? I thought it was critical for a second. I was gonna say don't. Faint attack, ow. I think this is the last trainer battle before we get into the city though, so we should be able to kill up. Come on, give me something amazing. At least thrashers aren't gonna be as bad now, but I kinda have to switch. Shelly can't take too many more hits, if any. So, uh, I'm risking a level up on some of these guys, but Gary, come intimidate, please. Gyarados versus Gyarados. Egbert, just don't get a discharge, and we'll be okay. I mean, okay, if you got a discharge right now, that would be. In a way, I would have to be somewhat impressed fact that, you know, we're going to lose our own Gyarados in the process, but the slim chance that we get that attack would be wild. Unless, you know, we get knocked out from a critical thrash attack right now. Nope. The critical would even have done that. Oh yeah, because you growled in intimidated. Nice. What's that supposed to do to us? Nothing. Look at it. A little bit of chip damage. Oh, stop going for the physical moves. You got better than this. You can do so much gooder. Um... I'm gonna drop that Glamio. We're gonna waterfall that thing. We're gonna. I just like having fun with Metronome. You know, I've been so scared about using it before. But in this game, at least we have four generations worth, four right here, of 
attacks that we don't need to worry about that will not self-destruct us. Although they added Memento, didn't they? And Healing Wish, actually. It's not... Those aren't like self-destruct moves where you don't do damage, but it still does inflict something on the opponent. So with Metronome, we get ourselves a Power Whip. No damage. Now, do they have any other Pokemon on the other side? Fix the little hat here. They do not. This Gyarados is the last one we gotta worry about, it looks like. Oh, never mind, I lied. Dabura. So, I think... I'm gonna Waterfall, and I guess... I'm going to heal up right now. Let's see. Super Potion, yeah. Egg, we're gonna take a Super Potion. I kinda wanna heal up Shelly to get her back in here, but I don't have the potions to heal her up just yet. She needs a lot of potions for uh, getting back to full HP, or at least close to it. Hopefully they'll sell max potions, or at least hyper potions in this next... Wait, no, I gotta level up to that point. I'm not level up, but I gotta get my gym badges up to that point. Gyarados confused, hit yourself please! Thank you, a little bit of damage on you. And I'm just gonna say, I'm thinking a double edge drops this thing from good old Gary. Finally, this battle is over. How many battles is that? That's only the second fight in this bat or this video, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, if double edge does not drop this thing, I'll be slightly surprised, but I would love to see what attack comes from Metronome. Never mind, get out of here, Gyarados. The real Gyarados is coming through. Recoil, we eat that for breakfast, brunch, and dinner and lunch. Not in that order. Level 32. I saw a level up, I was like, uh oh. But fortunately, it was just Shelly. We don't need to worry about. Oops. Well, now Egbert will not listen to us. At least Gary is still level 30, so we can use him if we need to in this next battle. Next gym. You won and I lost, but the genie blood or something, you made me lose my confidence. Sorry, I didn't read what that other guy said. I think about Pokemon all day long. I was confident, you know. In a Pokemon battle, it doesn't matter how old or young you are. Your gender doesn't matter either. Nothing like that means anything. Not particularly. Pokemon's gender can. We got a Wikiberry. Generation before she even appears at the Aether Foundation, we've got Wiki in our pocket. We got a Mago. I already got Mago berries. I thought those were Nanibs. So, uh, I'm just going to throw some berries down here. I do want to get more Wiki. Look, I've got over a hundred of several berries now. I mean, that's kind of what I'm going for. Cherry berries are my next one I'm going to be getting up. I'm basically going to start from the top of the list, keep planting berries till I get a hundred of each species, you know, kind of thing, and uh, go with that. Do I want to... I'm going to leave the space empty. I don't know, call me crazy. But we made it to Balestone City, finally. It's been a long time. I wanted to go to Celestic Town, but there were some Pokemon in the way. Sigh, ducks. Of course, they're all migrainy. All right, finally, the big city, and we got some friends over here. Hey, you. Yeah, you. This is Team Galactic's warehouse. It ain't no playground for kids. Really? What do you have to say? This is the awesome Team Galactic's awesome warehouse. A little kid like you should be playing at the Pokemon gym. After all, the gym leader happens to be a kid just like you. Really? So I have a good chance with my team. Maybe. Hopefully. All right, first things first, let's head to, ooh, game corner, to the Pokemon Center. I talked, I walked right past people, I didn't even talk to them. I'm so used to this game and, like, the path I would take, I know where the Pokemon Center is, I just bypassed everybody. The game corner is dangerous. Why is it dangerous? It's so fun, I lose track of time. Six minutes left, we're good. All right, what do you have to say, cue ball? Maylene is Veilstone's gym leader. Wake's the leader, the gym leader, and Pastoria. Then there's Fantina and Hardhome. They're all way too tough. I can't even come close to them. You gotta practice, you gotta train, you gotta go... Go to this, uh... uh or Mount Battle. Perfect place to train, they heal you after every fight. Do it. Alright, let's get ourselves healed up. And, I forget, what level do we need to hit for our next returning Pokemon? I'll take a look at that off camera. I know it's not for a while, it might be level 33 or something like that. So, we got some time before that happens. Maylene, the gym leader, is a cute little girl. But don't let her looks fool you, even grown-ups have trouble with her. Oh, I'm sure my Sneasel and my Blissey will be doing just fine against her. If you use the hidden move Fly, I want Fly, you'll be instantly whisked to any town you've visited before. They never really explain why that is. Why can't you fly to new gyms? Like, new cities, I mean. I guess part of the reasoning is maybe your Pokemon has not been there and doesn't know, like, a landing site or something like that, but, like, 
Is that really a le uh, legitimate reason? I bought a new parasol, but I don't want it. Great, I don't want it to get rained on. So I watched the TV weather reports. I got a parasol. Where is it? You can't see it. It's in the bag, but it is a cool Pokemon umbrella. Team Galactic's building bugs me. I can't sleep with it looming over me. Is it going to fall? Those thorny things on the building. Are they fashionable? What thorny things? I don't know what you're talking about, but we'll find out. But we're almost at the department store. First thing I want to do is check the TMs. If we can get psychic, that'd be great. If there are people who desire to see them, Pokemon will appear in many different guises. A myth says that Mount Coronet parted Sinnoh into halves. Seeing the Pokemon Shellos makes me think maybe the myth is real. Why? What are you talking about? Of course, what they're talking about, we haven't seen it just yet, but there are two variations of the Pokemon Shellos. West Sea and East Sea. I don't think they really divide them that way nowadays. Like, they still have the different forms. But that was almost like... What's a good example of that? Think of Meowstic in Gen 6. The way the male and female... That's not even exactly accurate. That's a gender difference. Think of them almost like Alola forms in a way. Because like we had the pink ones that we've seen already. Shellos, the pink version on the east side. No, west side of the region. The east side is going to have sea green looking Shellos. So in a way, kind of like Alola form somewhat. I came to the city just so I could go shopping at the department store. But with all these rock walls around, this place feels kind of cold. Well, I have my fan on. That might be a cause of it. All right, we're here at the department store. We're looking to spend some cash. I made an accessory mold. Made an accessory modeled after the Pokemon of a trainer I met. Would you like one? Jimchar. I'll take it. Neat. We got a fire type Pokemon on our team, mask wise. All right, we can buy. Oh, they do have hyper potions. Um, oh, they got max potions. Good. We don't need the badges for this place. So the department store sells everything. I am going to come back here for sure after I check out what they got for TMs, though. Welcome, what do you need? Let's buy. Got the Pokeballs here. How much do we got? 18. We're good for those. Uh, like a bubble mail? Sweet. All right, moving on. I want to head upstairs and check out what they got for TMs and different kind of... I don't even know what they have here. I like the formal air of a luxury department store. Nice, I guess. All right, is this where they do like a lottery draw thing? This department store knows how to ensure customer satisfaction. They really look after you once you become a regular customer. Veilstone Department Store, welcome, yada, yada, yada. Let's head up to floor two. What's up here? I'm going to give an HP up to my Cricket Todd. This is going to raise its HP, huh? That's what it does. We're giving away a Poked app for free as a promotion. I can give you the Counter app over the counter. Would you like it? Here you go. Go forth and count. So this, hang on. The Counter app can be used to count up to 9999. So what I can do is, as far as the uh, playthrough goes and having to keep track of, like, you don't have a timer. Oh, I just missed it. I have a timer on my phone that I use. What I could do is... You know, where is it? Where is it? Ah, oh, what? Where? Hang on. How many times have I clicked now, huh? Count that up. What I can do is every second, I'll just click. Then I'll know how many seconds we've had, and that could be a better timer. You know what? I can't do this in battle. Forget that. All right, moving on. Lucky number seven. All right, what do we need? We don't need none of that. That's a lot of money. We don't need to spend money on that. We got the stat boost from training. Don't need any of that either. I mean, it's useful. Don't get me wrong. It came in very handy during our uh, Pokemon Sun, I believe. No, Pokemon Moon. I guess Ultra Sun. We had Rotom to help us out. Where can I find my? Where can I find matching dresses for myself and my dear Pokemon? <coughs> Try the Alola region. What's recommended? Would you care for a protein? It's to drink that boost attack. Oh, I thought you were gonna be a free sample. Why would you get me all excited like that? Whatever. All right. What do you have to sell up here? Foe? The foe is attacked with an all-intense blast. I can't even read. An intense blast of all-consuming fire. May also leave the target with a burn. So that is fire blast. We've got thunder. Hmm. Got blizzard. <laughs> a howling blizzard. What attack was that be? Was that be? Can't speak. Two-turn attack of solar beam. We got focus blast and hyper beam. Oh, you don't sell psychic. What do you have to sell? You've got uh, nature power. No, is that nature power? No, that is... What is that called? User draws power from the berry it's holding. I'm almost out of time. We're going to end off after we finish shopping here. What is that one called? 
Something gift, isn't it? Uh, I'm not gonna end the episode till I remember. What is the name of this attack? I'm actually going to lie and skip. All right, so we have protect, uh, false swipe. We've got what was that? Safeguard. We got reflect, light screen, and flash. We don't sell psychic here. Why don't you sell psychic? That might be a veilstone game corner thing though. I wrote some secrets in my mail as a reminder. If someone reads it, I'm in deep trouble. My friend traded me a Machoke using DS Wireless Communications, but instead of Machoke, I got a different Pokemon. Really? Sounds crazy talk to me. May I help you with anything? What's well, recommended? False Swipe makes wild Pokemon easier to catch. Many customers have confided that to me recently. That is true, definitely. Alright, what do you got up here? What do you need? I want to buy all this stuff for my secret base. I don't have a secret base yet, though. Should I make a secret base, folks? Do you want to see that in the underground? Let me know. It's not really pertinent to the playthrough, but I could do that if you want to see some sort of filler material. Oh, we got the dolls. We get a Munchlax doll. Again, if I want a secret base. Remember back in Gen 2, you could have like your own house, like well, your own house, your own room you could decorate, and they transfer that over to Pokemon Stadium too. That was kind of cool. That boy doesn't have any Pokemon, but he says his training's his. He's training his image. Oh boy, this boy. Oh boy. If you encounter a wild Pokemon, chuck a quick ball right off the bat. It was taking a long time to catch. The situation calls for a timer ball. Do you sell the Pokeballs over here? What's recommended? The yellow cushion is popular for its perfect balance of soft and firm. How do you have both? That's crazy. I've had enough of shopping for a while. I'll grab a drink and unwind a bit. So that's the vending machines up there if we want them. Two buff guys standing side by side. That's all. What? What's the problem? I ain't saying nothing. Ah, young Pokemon trainer. As your senior in life, let me make a gift of the Sticky Barb. I'll get the Sticky Barb. That Sticky Barb is a hold item. If the Pokemon holding it is hit, the Sticky Barb sticks to the foe and inflicts damage. What I thought was kind of cool is that when you have a Pokemon with Klutz ability, like uh, Lopunny can have that, it can hold the Sticky Barb. It actually does not take damage from the Sticky Barb because it doesn't know how to use it. But if a foe hits them, the Sticky Barb latches onto them. It's kind of weird. I was testing that one time to see if that worked, and that is how it goes. I've shopped here loyally for years. Now they consider me a regular. Huh. All right, we're going to grab a seat over here, and that's going to be a wrap for... Did you get away from me? Find your own seat. Anyway, it's going to be a wrap for today's episode of Pokemon Pearl. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this today, and if you did, feel free to drop a like down below. Thank you for watching, as always. And if you want to see some more episodes of Pokemon Pearl, you can check the link in the description to the playlist. Check that out, or share that with a friend that might want to get caught up on our all of our... Again, can't speak. Adventures here in the Sinnoh region of Pokemon. And if you want to see some more videos that I have done, check out the links during the outro. Plus, you can also subscribe to the channel for some more daily Pokemon content from Professor Chaz. And remember, tomorrow we're going to set our first official like goal. I'm thinking we're going to aim for about 10. If we can hit 10 likes before the next episode goes up, then I will randomly choose someone from within the comments. I'll leave a question of the day for you folks to randomly receive one of the shiny Pokemon or Ultra Beasts that I've collected in Pokemon Ultra Sun. So keep that in mind for tomorrow. But with that, we're going to wind up for the day. Wind up? I guess. Wrap up? Wind down? Both. Anyway, thank you once again for watching, folks. Professor Chaz is signing off, and I'll catch you next time.